In previous lecture, we have seen how to create and project or app using Django. In this lecture, we will see introduction of Django views, templates, model forms, and Django admin site. In this course, we will learn about Django in depth and the brief introduction of Django's basic concepts. So let's get started with Django. Django views. What are the Django views and URL cons? So first we'll see Django views and then Django URL cons. So what are the Django views and URL cons? This is the basic concepts and theory. We'll see this in the practical very soon. So just be with me. URL cons and views nothing but a presentation layer for the app or project. There are three types of views. First is class based view. Second is function based view and third is URL cons. What is class based views? When we create any class and define in the views, it called class based views. Function, when we define function, then function based views and what is URL cons? When we declare when we create an app and we define a view in our app and call it from the project, then it is called URL conf. If you have any doubt or question, just be with me. You will be clear in the practical sessions. So this is basically a URL con. This is a brief about views and URL cons. There is no more theory about this. You will see whole practical what are the Django templates Django templates this is the most important in any web application or app being a web framework as we all know Django is a web framework Django needs a convenient way to generate HTML dynamically so how in any website or web app we always used to see an HTML page or dynamic HTML page and every website needs the dynamic HTML page in nowadays. So the most common approach to create dynamic HTML page Django relies on templates. Django relies on template the most common approach. So this is how Django needs template to create or to generate HTML dynamically. This is basic introduction. So just a template contains a template contains uh, the static parts of the desired HTML output as well as some special syntax describing how dynamic content will be inserted. Django provides us uh, easy and efficient syntax to generate dynamic HTML page. How? We'll see in the few minutes. So just be with flow. Just be with me. Now, what are the Django models? Models. A model is a single definitive source of information about our data. What does that mean? When we register or login in any website or in any social media site, there are some fields which we have to enter our data and after the validating data, we need to submit it and then we have to log it to see the next page. So the model is basically is is a single definitive source of information about our data. It contains the essential fields and behaviors of data you are storing. That means when we enter our name, surname, birth date, email address, password, etc., we are storing it somewhere in the database. So this is basically model. Generally, each model maps to a single database table. If we register ourselves on any website 
there might be some database which store that registration forms data if we logged into any website there might be some database there might be a database which includes which stores the data of our logged in information so this is basically models this is pay attention this is very useful in any website or any applications for development let's go further we'll see this in depth or in brief in a practical session also and Django forms this is also a very much important thing pay attention Django provides a range of tools as we have seen in the features of Django Django provides a range of tools and libraries to help you build forms to accept input from site visitors and then process and respond to the input what does that mean Django has so many libraries inbuilt libraries and it provides a range of tools to accept input from the visitors as we have seen as I have told you in models there are numerous forms in website just like registration form login form feedback form rating form etc so these are the Django forms so Django provides a range of tools and libraries to help you build forms to accept input from the website visitors just like us we visit a website and we register it logged in and so on and then process and respond to the input this is basically a Django forms and last but not the least what is the Django admin site this is the extensive and distinguished feature of Django what is this one of the most powerful one of the most powerful parts of Django is the automatic admin interface Django provides its own admin interface which is the which is just like the login page of any web application or social site it reads metadata what is metadata we'll see in few minutes it reads metadata from our models to provide quick model centric interface where trusted users can manage content on our on our site what does that mean when we logged into Facebook or Instagram or any other site uh, we put some data which is a private data or public data then if anyone wants that data wants to see that data he or she has to log in using our account or using our login and password if we want to log in our website we have to register login and then further move on when we logged into website Facebook we put our photos videos and etc and we can chat with the friends as we all know but no one can see our chats without our login user ID and password so this is how Django admin works or any website works it reads metadata from our model to provide a quick model centric interface where trusted users trusted users like us we are trusting on Facebook then Facebook trust us trusted users can manage content on your site so this is basically Django admin so this is basically a theory let's see the practicals of views templates models forms and admin site we'll see whole practicals of this and after that we'll move on to the next session in this lecture we have seen introduction of Django views templates model forms and admin site in the next lecture we'll see how to create users in Django admin and give them different permissions